Is it time to start selling your shares? We're going to talk about all this. Shout out to Luis Arceo who asked me, could you make an update on FSL? This is exactly what we're going to talk about today, coming up after the intro. What's up guys, this is JC and welcome to the Wealth Engineering channel. It is imperative that we learn how to manage our money because once we learn how to manage our money, we can take control of our true wealth which is our time and our freedom. This is exactly why I created the Wealth Engineering School and this channel. We pay attention to stocks and crypto to find the best place to grow your portfolio. If this is something that interests you, I want you to smash the like button, subscribe, and click the bell. To my subscribers, thank you for your support. And if you are new here, welcome to the Wealth Engineering community. I have interesting links in the description below to help you start on your financial education journey. If you want to learn how to invest or you started investing in the last three years, make sure you check those links out. You don't want to miss on this. With that said, you came here for the truth. Let's just dive deep into it. All right, we're going to start with the chart. f -sell. this is what the chart we have right now. And the question is, should you start selling? Well, it depends on what is your style of investing. Did you invest long term? Did you invest short term? But basically, based on what I see on the chart right now, I do see that this week is very crucial for FCL because right now the price action is right above this support line. And this is an important support line for FCL. We have a couple of days we are interacting with this support line. And if we break this line, then we can expect to see a visit around $13. And if we do break that, then we're definitely going to test $10. Now you can see how important $10 is. We have a lot of reaction. It's a, $10 is a confirmed support and resistance in the past. So we've seen price action over there, and but we have to wait and see what was going on. Now, a couple of things I wanted to cover in this video today. Um, again, depending on your plans, you might want to buy, you might want to buy more and hold your current position so that you can add to it. If you believe this stock is a great investment for the long term, or if you're in the short term and you didn't take profit above here, well, you might want to start considering taking profit now because if we break this, the best thing to do is to wait to see if we do break this support. And if we do, then you might want to take profit right away. That's assuming that you're investing way down there before the price started to boom. I know many of you in the comment section have been investing in FCL just like I was. Uh, I just want to mention as of now, I no longer hold FCL shares. And um, I'm also, as of last Monday, I also sold all my shares from all my stocks. I'm mostly in cash on my port stocks portfolio. And I have transferred a little bit of that cash into cryptocurrencies so that I can be all in on cryptocurrencies. Right now, there are some major cryptocurrencies that I'm buying right now, building a huge portfolio and that I want to hold for the next 10 years. It's a very exciting project. I'm learning more about those cryptos. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to sell them. I'm just going to add more and add more and build my position in the next 10 years. So uh, if you guys want more videos about that, let me know in the comment section. I'll, I'll talk to you about my crypto portfolio. But in the meantime, for the stocks, I'm still going to make videos on FCL on Renewable Energy, Givo, FCL, and any other stocks that you guys want me to look over. Now let's get back to the chart again. Something I wanted to cover is... Um, this green line right here is a moving average. Now it's the 50 day moving average. The way it works is it's taking an average of the last 50 candles, assuming you're on the daily chart, and then it plots a number and it keeps plotting numbers to a graph and just so that you can see a nice curve correction. The, the best way to think about it is think of it as this price is noisy versus this is smoother, all right? And this is the same thing, but it's a 200 day moving average. So it's moving a lot slower. When you have the green line above the red line, it's a bullish trend. It's a long-term bull run. It's a bull market, all right? There's many ways to say the same thing. It just basically means the price are going to go high for a very long time. And the other thing that is cool to see is when you see a cross like this, 
Like for example, we call this a golden cross. That means for a very long time, you're going to see the price skyrocketed. And you can see that since last January, we had the golden cross and you can see that the prices are well above this green line. Now, a couple of things to watch for. When you start having price correction below the green line, then this is something to kind of like, it's not something to sound the alarm yet, but it's definitely something to keep your eyes on because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, here's an example of fake outs where the price action stayed many days below the green line and then start correcting itself and start jumping itself. This could be one of these situations. However, what you do not want to see, you do not want to see the price actions below the red line. And if you do see that, then it's a precursor to what we call a dead cross. And it's a cross like this, where the red line is above the green line. And if you get a cross like this on a daily, a 50 and 200 day moving average, it's a precursor that's saying that the price correction might last a long time. This is a bear market. You can see the last time this happened, it was from July 2018 all the way to uh, January 2020. So this is what you really do not want to see, all right? So now the reason why I'm pointing this out is because right now we are seeing price correction and we are seeing price action below the 50-day moving average. If you're a long-term investor, this is not something you should be panicking about. But this is definitely something you should look into. The other thing I see here is we do not want to break this support because if we do break the support, we're also going to have price action below this line. But then we're also going to be closer to that moving average 200. And this is where the line and this is where we do not want to be. So um, going to next days, I really want to see how's that going to go. Um, but if we put it on a monthly chart, on the monthly chart, we're still on a bullish trend. Uh, we're still above this. This is the 200 month moving average. So the fact that the price rose all the way this high in a long term, we're still bullish. All right. I also want to show something else for FCL. On the monthly chart, the RSI was pumping the last couple months. All right. Now it reached the overbought area, which is why I have it in red, because this is a red zone, and then it started correcting itself. So at the very least, we can expect to see a price drop on the 50 zone, so that the RSI might go lower all the way to 50. And is it going to go bullish long term? Well, depends. Do we stay above 50 on the RSI? If we break 50 on the RSI on the monthly chart, this is bad. This is very bad. But we started to have a correction. This is normal. We're supposed to have a correction when it's um, when it's like this. It actually means we might see more price drop. So if you're in a short term for this stock, you might want to start looking into taking profit. Uh, and if you're in long term, it's up to you. Uh, definitely um, do your research. Check out if this is a stock that you want to hold long term. Now, if we go put it on the weekly chart, here's an interesting pattern. Look at this. We have price actions above the red and the green, and we are about to have a golden cross on the weekly candle. So if we're going long term, this is a very bullish sign. And you can see also we have a price correction because the price were overbought for a very long time. So we are about to visiting the 50 on the RSI, which is very good. This is what we want to see. Again, what we want to see, we want to see the RSI stay above 50 and not break 50. Because once this happens, it's the beginning of a bear market. So what do I see for FCL? I definitely see long term, it's still bullish. Until we break the trend, we have to assume the trend will continue and we haven't broken the trend yet. Short term, we can expect more price corrections, maybe a rebound around $13. And if we break $13, we might retest $10 again. I think retesting $10 will be a great thing for this stock because first, it can help you accumulate a lot of these shares if you want to buy it long term. Second, it's building more market structure. And uh, we'll wait and see if, but what you do not want to see is you do not want to see a break around $10. All right. And that's all I had ready for you today. If you have more stocks you want me to look into, make sure you drop a comment. I'll definitely get into it. With that said, we'll talk on the next video.